hi everyone by now you should be used to um, this my impromptu videos and um, not so aligned and everything and um, well I call them short talks on mental health or mental well-being and um, I sometimes draw from my brother's um, journey which I narrated in his book in the book I I did for for him when he passed away and I also draw a lot from my own personal experiences um, today I decided to do this short um, video um, because I am not so well and I would have loved to do a blog post but um, my hands and my fingers are a little shaky trembling either from medication and from fatigue or I don't really know um, I have a flu and I have some joint pains and I have some other issues also in my head I have to sort out and um, I have to move out by month end although I haven't yet found a place um, I'm hopeful anyway uh, I, I've been through tougher times you know so um, I think um, faith hope and love keeps us going so I wanted to share this with you um, this update um, I recently did a post wondering whether there's any settling down actually in this life if it's possible and um, I concluded that it's not really possible we just have to try to make the best of it and um, I wanted to say that I'm keeping uh, the faith and and then I'm coming across a lot of other people who are going through tougher times or equally tough times and um, we are also keeping it um, positive and so we inspire and motivate each other and we cheer each other up I think of my e-family uh, the mental health guide and um, John in South Africa uh, I can't just name all of them you know and, and so I'm very grateful and above all I'm also grateful for my mother who is always there to offer some support and today uh, I call her, we all call her um, doctor, best doctor and she told me to drink a lot of fluids uh, I don't know why it did not occur to me before so right now I am on some kind of tea therapy I've already drank like two liters and I'm going to have another liter right now I have a big tea mug which can take like 500 um, whatever of water and then I press it and I have like two three teacups at the go and so I'm doing that and I'm sweaty and I'm going to try to have a good night although it's been very difficult these past days to really sleep straight I mean I get up like every other hour every other two hours either panicking or sweating or not so sure if I'm still breathing or stuff it's not so easy you know but uh, I'm staying positive and I'm looking forward to having a, a positive feedback from one of the rooms I visited recently and so I can move out of the place where I am which is equally adding to my stress and my nervousness and not helping me out also with this physical um, ailments right now so people you stay positive and all those who are around those of us who are suffering in one way or the other I mean mental challenges for me are worse off than physical challenges because you don't even see it and, and, and the doctors themselves find it more difficult to address it and, and, and so we, we just get so confused people get so confused they don't really know whether to count on others or not to count on others and they don't even understand what's going on themselves you know so uh, also show us a little bit more empathy than usual and, and, and other people were getting it much more tougher than myself I, I try my little best and I just want to encourage each and every one of us even those who are sick to, to know that they can also help another person smile or go through another day much better than yesterday thank you therefore very much for listening and I'm happy I have this opportunity to do this little short talk instead of trying to write a blog post and, and the audiences are different nonetheless so thank you so much and have a good night bye